let's see, from Cedar Rapids we go to Utsky, that one pronounced small name, then join the DME arc to Zegri, and then lead in, and for that we need the uh, number two VOR on the iOS City VOR, which is our official reference for this. So we can fly with the GPS, however we need to monitor the VOR itself. Enter the flight plan. So we go to K, A, there we go. To get there we want to do the VOR DME 36. with the DME arc and this is what it looks like on the uh, on the IFD it looks the same of course as on four flight good um, let's get the ATIS Cedar Rapids information alpha special observation 1820 Zulu wind 30011 visibility H ceiling 1500 cast temperature 4 2.1, option number 2, Niner 9 or 8, ILS approaching east, landing departing runway 27, hazardous weather means for islands around states on high and flight service frequencies, advise this contact, give information alpha. Cedar Rapids clearance, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, information alpha, have an IFR on file back to Cedar Rapids uh, via Washington with a uh, uh, approach in Washington, the uh, VOR36 for practice purposes, ready to copy. Command to 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Clinic, includes the Cedar Rapids Airport at Bob, maintain 4000, departure in scene 119.7, clock 4342. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, cleared to the Cedar Rapids Airport as filed, uh, client maintain 4000, departure on 119.7, squawk 4342. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, read back correct. Sensor 653 on mic. Cross runway 27 Alpha, continue taxi to East Tees via Charlie. 3 1 Mike, cross 27 East Tees via Charlie. And uh, ground Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo at the Northwest Tees with Alpha is uh, ready for taxi full length, please. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids ground, runway 27, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 3 1 at Alpha. Runway 27, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 3 1 at Alpha, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Approaching runway 13, clear on the left, clear on the right, clear across, lights on. Approaching runway 13, 31. Entered runway 13, 31. Well up, brakes are set. Fuel is on the left tank, that is our false tank. Flight controls, free and correct. Mixture, best power. Max left, right. Prop, all temperature is good, all pressure is good, all cylinders are, are firing. That meter looks good. Idle chat. Pre takeoff. Mixture. Best power. Prop. High RPM. Trim. Three up. Cow flaps are open. Flaps are up. Heat heat is on today. Door. Window closed. Lights on the runway. All right, let's look at the nav setup. I have in my flight plan the VOR DME 36, that's this plate here. Uh, it'll be Chicago Center 135.6, I can arm that. Put that in the standby. Uh, we need for that also the Iowa City VOR. I can fly this approach with GPS guidance, but I need to monitor the, the VOR, because it is a VOR approach, there's no GPS or GPS in the title here. Um, that's why I need to have that navitude, 116.2. Uh, 
and it's already set here on the number two. And we go to V-Log here. And then the inbound course will be 006. All right, uh, the navigator actually uh, says it will also revert to, uh, to V-Log. I think we'll leave it at GPS because we want the number one to be in GPS for better precision and the number two uh, on V-Log, so illegal. Good, um, my, my track to Utxi is uh, 158, so I'll set that on the HSI. 158, here we go. I expect to get an initial heading of 250, so I'll set that. That completes the nav setup for now. We'll brief the approach once we're in the air. Oxy is uh, 50 miles away from here, so it should take about 20 minutes to get there. It gives us a little time to brief the approach. Departure briefing. Uh, departing from runway 27 in Cedar Rapids, I will make a normal takeoff. Uh, wind from the right today. Any engine anomaly with runway ahead, I will pull the power land on the runway. Any engine anomaly under 2000, I will land straight ahead or slightly to the right into the wind for the lowest ground speed above 2000. I can uh, consider other options. Switch to tower, we got tower, we got a departure, but the transponder set. Temperature here on the ground is a little bit above freezing. It will actually warm up as we climb. There's an inversion layer pretty close to the ground, and then we'll get uh, warmer temperatures above. Lights are on. Sea Rapids Tower, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, runway 27, ready for departure. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Sea Rapids Tower, turn left heading 250, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Left heading 250, clear for takeoff, runway 27, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. We're heading 250, approaching runway 27. Feet. It is clear on approach. Clear on the runway. Entered runway 27, 8,500 feet remaining. Turning, turning, erect. Take off. Yes, be alive. Temperature, pressure, good. Positive rate, gear up. Bravo, contact departure flight. Contact departure, Bonanza 7 Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Seat of its departure, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, 1700, climbing 4000. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact. Turn left, direct, uniform, tango, x-ray, India, hotel. Left turn, direct, uniform, tango, x-ray, India, hotel, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. I was uh, secretly hoping you might know how to pronounce it. I was going to take a stab at it, but uh, probably wouldn't have been good. This is what I love about instrument flying. Okay, here's 4,000 and on this short flight, 
I want to have some time to brief the approach. I will throttle back to 22 inches. Five hundred RPM and lean of peak. So we're doing the VOR runway three six approach at Washington. Uh, we have it set here on the navigator. For this one to be legal, we need to tune and identify the Iowa City VOR. I have that on the number two VOR one one six point two IOW. The Morse code shows up here. And we got the same on the number one, except the number one GPS, I will leave in GPS mode, which uh, for the, the more recent FAA guidance, it is legal to fly these VOR approaches with GPS as guidance, as long as you monitor them with a VOR. So with two receivers, we can easily do that. Uh, got to make sure the needle is centered for, uh, on my number two. All right, approach briefing. We're doing the uh, VOR runway 36 approach of Washington. It's set on the uh, number one GPS. We got the VOR, Iowa City VOR, tuned and identified uh, on the second one. Colonel, Niner, Niner, Niner. Fly to Atxi and then join the DME arc, which is 27 nautical miles from the Iowa City VOR. We'll follow GPS guidance. The inbound is um, Peter Rapids approach. Good morning, sir. Zero, zero, six. I will set that once we get on the arc. Altitudes. Once I get on the arc, I can descend to 2600. And uh, from there, I get 2600 till Schoen. And then from Schoen, I descend to 1240. Let's get the uh, weather 127.82. And then I'll also uh, get the CTAF 1227 for Washington. Washington Municipal Airport, automated weather observation 1855 Zulu. Wind 310 at 8 knots. Visibility 6 mid. Sky condition view at 1100. Temperature 3 Celsius. Dew point 3 Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9 er 9 er 9 er inches of mercury. Okay, so what that tells me is they have a uh, few clouds at 1100. Looks like, uh, doesn't look like few, but it must be a very thin layer. The uh, final approach fix is Schoen, and then we descend to our MDA, which is 1240, 488 above ground. Uh, we fly to the missed approach point, which is Ojos, and from there I will try to fly... Seven zero Tango Bravo, contact Chicago Center 135.6. 135.6, Bonanza 7, zero Tango Bravo, have a good day. You too. And then we'll ask if we can do the, miss, the published missed approach. Chicago Center, good. Afternoon, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, level 4000 with the uh, weather and notams for Washington. 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Chicago Center, hello. Uh, let's see what the tell off, Center 3001. Alright, 3001, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. I would like to do the uh, VOR approach for runway 36 at Washington using the, uh, the DME ARG. And if it works for you, I would like to fly the uh, published mist on this one. All right, 70 single Bravo, Roger, thank you. All right, the published mist is a climb to 2600 and then a right turn to uh, intercept our, our final course. Just flying it outbound and hold at churn, hold at the final approach fix. And what I'm going to show there is the sequencing of the uh, of the uh, FMS leg at the altitude because my avidine is not connected to a barrel correct altitude input. 
I have to tell it when I'm at 2600, and then it will sequence to the next leg. So we'll take a look at that. And there's 51, 26, on tab, the one approach, one, two, three, point niner. Rickyard, sir, 4380, contact one approach, 123.9er. So let's review one other thing here. The 2600 is uh, at or above for the, for the arc. So if a higher altitude keeps me out of the clouds and out of potential icing, uh, I can stay above 2600 and intercept 2600. Uh, once I'm on my final approach course going to Schoen. Okay, this says another 8.8 .8 miles to... Uh, Number 70, Tango Bravo, 900 miles north of Houston, Dix. Maintain 3,000 until established, cleared. BOR, runway 36 approach into Washington. Maintain uh, 3,000 until established, cleared. VOR 36 approach into Washington. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo. Descends me to 3000. We'll start a descent. Pedo heat is still on. Alright, with uh, GPS steering, the navigator and the autopilot would do everything on their own from here on. I don't have that, so I will use the heading. Uh, heading back, the autopilot heading mode to uh, kind of simulate GPS steering and, and do this by hand. Back okay, here's 3,000. And I'll just stay at 3,000. November 4, 9 or 8, Tango Bravo, contact Kansas City Center, 126.22. Hey, 116.2 is still identified. I'm still currently navigating with GPS, so uh, this is my my primary right now. On the final approach course, though, I need the VOR in addition to the GPS. The other thing I'm going to do is listen to Washington CTAF 122.7. November 3, November, Tango, Chicago Center, climb and maintain flight level 230. Lindbergh 4499, Chicago Center, climbing and maintain, level 230. I'm a little bit to the right of the DME arc, and I can see that on the HSI here as well, but of course that will fix itself as we move forward. Back in 4126, we're sending discussion, maintain 11000, carry up to meter 2995. Okay, now the needle's starting to move a little bit to the right. So, in 10 degree increments, I will make right turns now to stay on the DME arc. Center, good afternoon, weather 2996 5000, direct with the weather notice landing the ILS 36, would like to record the vector, please. Weather 2996 Chicago Center, understand uh, you want vectors ILS 36. Number 2996, I can see how the desired track increases as we proceed on the arc, you know, following the, uh, the shape of the arc. Up on answer 7 Zio Tango Bravo on the uh, missed approach out of Washington. Uh, if it works for you, I would like to fly it as published laterally, but climb to 3,000 feet instead of 2,600. Is that going to work for you? 
November 7th, Zero Finger Bravo uh, approved. Uh, upon Mr. Approach, execute the published Mr. Approach procedure, then report back on this frequency for further clearance. Bonanza 7 zero, Tango Bravo, roger, and uh, I would like to uh, go to traffic advisories at this time, if that's okay. Number 7 zero, Tango Bravo, change your advisory frequency approved. Bonanza 7 zero, Tango Bravo, roger. If you think about it with uh, RNF GPS approaches, there isn't much of a reason to fly DME arcs anymore unless your GPS fails, right? So what we're doing today is kind of an academic exercise but it is good practice every now and then, you know, just to make sure you still know how to fly them because we do it so rarely. And if there's a GPS outage someday, uh, you know, may come in handy. Okay, temperature up here is plus 11 Celsius. So once we turn inbound, I descend to 2600 for Schoen. And then after Schoen, Uh, to our minimum descent altitude of 1240. 50 seconds left to degree. Okay, inbound course is 006. And I'm getting established on that, and confirmed by my number one. And my number two, which is on B-Log, is uh, moving to the center as well. Now we can send to 2600. Speedo heat is on. And then Ed Shearn to uh, 1240. Okay. Descent to 1240, minimum descent altitude. Here it's down and locked. Landing light, checklist, landing checklist, gear down and locked. Landing light is on, mixture enriched, comes on short final. Okay, we got two minutes, 40 seconds to the missed approach point. And we got about a thousand feet to burn. Bampish is still above freezing and all along by a VOR indicator on the uh, second one shows that the needle is uh, entered. Our missed approach point is Aoyas, lots of unpronounceable names. Watching traffic, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo is on a uh, three mile final for runway 36, full goal, missed, Washington. Five hundred. And there is the runway. Coming at a bit of an angle, but we could have made it from here. Everything is centered, yep. Yeah. Because that's how this approach ends here, because of where the Iowa City VOR is located. All right, we'll wait for the missed approach point. Reconfigure for a climb. And then remember, we climbed to 2600 until 2600, that's our next manual sequence required. 2600 feet is our next leg. And then we sequence. Positive rate, gear is up. Watching traffic, Bonanza, Zio Tango Bravo is uh, going missed um, on the missed approach for runway uh, BOR 36 approach. Okay, climb to 2600, then I will sequence, 
with this button here, and that will then activate the turn to the right. Five hundred. And 2600. Now I hit push the sequence leg button. And I fly to Shern. And then here's 3000. And we'll go to 22 inches again. RPM. Chicago Center, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo is on your frequency again, uh, flying the missed approach at uh, 3000. November 7th, just take a Bravo Ratcher. Raider time check, three miles northeast Washington Airport. Show you level at 3,000. That's finished 2999. 2999, thank you. November 7th, you're saying a Bravo just advised when you're ready to proceed to uh, Cedar Rapids. Up on answer 7th, you're taking a Bravo. We'll call. All right, so 186 is my, my leg to Shern. Okay, needles Wait moving. 1026 Chicago Center, 128.52. Weber 2996 is in the maintain 3000. And then we hold it, sure. And we'll do that uh, once for a course reversal. And then call it good and fly home to Cedar Rapids. GPS has teardrop entry, that makes sense, given from where we're coming. So, when we're crossing Schoen, I'll turn 30 degrees left. Like now. And let's see, the wind aloft, 3,000. From the west, so from the right, which should uh, prevent us from overshooting the inbound course. I can set now that's 006 again. Ground speed is getting well, lower and lower, meaning we're turning into Adam. the wind. 30.3 to 240, how you doing? Southwest 2382, Chicago Center, good afternoon, turn 15 degrees left, Trader Vector's track. 15 left, southwest 2382. Yeah, uh, we might still overshoot by a little bit. Yeah, nearly centered now. Turn left heading 100. 100, 2996. Not perfect, but not too bad either. Number eight four seven with Gecko, Chicago Center Roger. Expect lower in about five minutes. A center Bonanza seven zero Tingo Bravo would like to uh, return to Cedar Rapids now. November seven zero Tingo Bravo, clear to Cedar Rapids Airport via direct maintain three thousand. Clear to Cedar Rapids via direct maintain three thousand Bonanza seven zero Tingo Bravo. Cedar Rapids Inspection Bravo, 1852, wind 31010, visibility 7, ceiling 1400 overcast, temperature 3, 2.0, oximeter 2, 9 or 9 or 8, pilots approaching use, 
plane departing runway 27. Hazardous weather makes for Iowa Charles State on that walk. Flight to retreat and see if the pilot's contact gives information for Iowa. Okay, I think I will ask for runway 31 approach. Sea Rabbit's approach, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, 3000 feet with information, Bravo. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, Sea Rabbit's approach, walk, turn 10 degrees right, vector for the ILF runway 27, all is first terminate. Uh, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, uh, this one will be a full stop. Uh, would an RNF to runway 31 be uh, possible? Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, a firm nav, expect vectors for the RNF runway 31. Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo, Roger, thank you. And the 7 0 Tango Bravo, when able, clear direct Morris. Direct Morris, Bonanza 7 0 Tango Bravo. Alright, we do the 3 1 via Morris. Which is just a slight right turn. All right, let's review this plate. At Morse, I gotta be uh, 3,000. So we are 3,000, that's good. It says I need to do the hold for course reversal here, because if I use Morse as my initial approach fix, there's nothing on this chart saying that I don't need to do that, except common sense. So we'll see if he gives me vectors in the end. If I have to fly it on my own, I have to fly the whole there. For those of you who have watched my channel a little longer, you notice that I'm using a different app on the iPad. Uh, the EFB I had been using for uh, the better part of a decade was Wing X Pro. Uh, now I'm using ForeFlight. Uh, I switched just because there were a few things that uh, uh, we're not quite working uh, with version 9 of Wing X Pro, like the uh, weather radar display using a PISB weather, the ADSB weather. It was hit or miss on whether something was displayed or not, uh, and I managed to do a recording of that a while ago. Uh, a, a few other things that were you know, not, not terrible, but uh, they added up to non-satisfactory uh, experience overall for me. Uh, so, bye-bye Wing X. Um, Welcome for flight. Not getting paid or not getting a free subscription for this. You know, in, in fact, I had two years of subscription still on Wing X and uh, canceled it uh, or forfeited it because um, I uh, just didn't like it anymore. Um, so, still learning the ropes around for flight, and uh, so far, I would say it's looking good. Speaking of, let me add the RNAV procedure here, and we're going to Moore's, starting to scratch at the top of this cloud deck here, but the temperature is plus 8 degrees, so no worry at all about icing. It might get uh, just a hair below zero on the way down for a few seconds, but it's, it's above freezing here, it's above freezing on the ground. We'll stay at uh, 3,000 for a little longer. Approach briefing. We're doing the RNAV runway 31 approach to uh, Cedar Rapids. The navigator is set up. The I'm currently navigating on my own to Moors. Uh, we will either do this on our own and do the course reversal at Moors, or we'll get vectors to final, uh, where Shuey is the final approach fix. Um, just see what the approach controller has in mind, and then we don't need to do the hold. Final approach course is uh, 314. I can't set that yet because I'm still using the HSI and navigation to go to Moors. So that's an item remaining for the setup. Uh, glide path intercept at 2500 over Shuey. Minimum 1120 on the LPV. Missed approach, oops. Our discretion is 6,000. Climb to 3,000 straight ahead to payload and hold. Easy enough. 
14 miles or six and a half minutes to Moore's. Nenza zero single Bravo one zero miles from Morris Cross to Morris Adder above three thousand cleared on Ave runway three one approach and keep the speed up as best you can for jet traffic follow. All right, uh, three thousand uh, till Morris cleared for the RNAV uh, three one approach. Uh, Bonanza same thing around. Just to confirm, you want me to fly the um, uh, course reversal at Morris as published, or can I do a, a straight in from there? Uh, straight in for runway three one. All right, I'll plan on the straight in. Bonanza zero single Bravo. Thank you. United 774, fly heading 090, vector to fly. 090, United 774. All right, add a little bit to the speed. And it's getting colder here, so I can do above 3,000, and I'll just stay a hair above to avoid any possibility of icing. Once I'm at Moore's, I can descend to 2,500. What I've got to do here is I gotta take the hold out. So from Morris we'll go to Shuey. Approach water C 4613, 14 6, descending on 11,000, Bravo. Water ski 4613, Cedar Rapids approach. Welcome, turn 10 degrees left, intercept runway 27, local as respect, lower 8 mile. 10 left, intercept 27, localizer, order ski 4613. All right, two minutes to Morris. At 774, turn five degrees right, and I maintain 5,000. Five right, 5,000 feet, United 774. Approach on flight 3584, 152, sending 11,000, Bravo. Flight 3584, Cedar Rapids. Next turn will be to the left, to our inbound course, inbound course of 314, coming up on Moors. There's 15 Gulf, 8 miles from Bucca, cross Bucca, 3,300, clear to RNAV, GPS runway 33, Christian runway 25, approach Iowa City. Okay, and I can descend to uh, 2,500. And then the five thing of Bravo, keep your speed up, contact tower. And then the zero thing of Bravo, contact tower. Contact tower, and it's zero thing of Bravo, thank you. Seven seventy four to maintain port. Cedar Tower, Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo is on RNAV three one approach. Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway three one, cleared to land. Three one, cleared to land, Bonanza seven zero Tango Bravo. Okay, Shuey in uh, one minute forty seconds. Get to 2500. Temperature is still above freezing. Chewy in 30 seconds. And then to the minimum of 1120. Right, slow me to set. Three greens. Landing checklist. Here is down and locked. Three greens. Landing light is on. Mixture and rich comes on short final. And I love this display with the deviation bars, synthetic vision, the where the runway is. It doesn't get any easier than this. This makes me want to have an EFIS one of these days. Yes. Undercarriage, mixture, prop, all good. 1,000 to minimums. Temperature still above freezing. Three mile final runway 31. 
runway in sight. I see he has two jets on final for 27. So I'll keep the speed up, like he told me. Hey, rapid time information, Charlie Current has this weather for Iowa and the surrounding states to build on Iowa. Four flight service station frequencies. Autopilot off. Three greens. Charlie United 774 with the ILS 27. United 774, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway 27, clear to land traffic, short final for runway 31 of Bonanza. Clear to land 27, United 774. Wait for the Bonanza. Break wings. Tango Bravo, turn left, taxiway, Alpha, taxi to parking, this frequency. Left turn on Alpha to parking, this frequency, Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo, thanks for your help and have a good day. You too. After landing, flaps identified and up, call flaps open, trim, three up, lights back to beacon, pitot heat now off. United 774, turn right Alpha 3, taxi to parking via Alpha, Alpha 5, cross runway 13 Alpha. Alpha 3, Alpha, cross 13 and exit Alpha. 